Yeah. And I'm going to do it whether I feel like it or not. I'm still going to connect with that person, right? Because it's, it's part of you. It's your identity. But try explaining that. That's why I, I, I cannot stand the industry when people start saying, just make your calls. Just pick up the phone and dial. Really, bro? <laughs> Hey, y'all. Hey, it's Brittany. This is my first time this year hosting a webinar. Dun, dun, dun. Let's hope I do really, really well. I, I mean, I think these guys and I, we're going to work it out. I'm super duper excited to have Red X here, the sponsor, and Andy Rosas. Oh, my it. God. He's a freaking you nailed rock star, y'all. Did I get it? You nailed it. You nailed it. Yes. See? see Southern Girl. Can you teach Southern Girls new tricks? I love it. So, um, Robert and Andy, feel free to introduce yourselves. Go ahead, Robert. You okay. Robert? Well, I'm Robert Sullivan here with Red X, and uh, we're just happy to always be with Lab Coats and to help make connections with the, the best and the brightest out there doing the work and the grind every day. That's why we're happy to have Andy with us, and uh, and we just want to uh, learn from him today and, uh, and, and let you introduce yourself about that. Uh, I'm here in 30-degree Utah. Uh, talking to uh, these guys in the south, uh, loving the weather, dressed in beach clothes. So, yeah, beach Andy clothes, from Miami, we got being t- opened up. <laughs> See, I have all my beach it's dress, it's like, and I came prepared. We came for this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, and then my name is Andy Rosas. I'm from Miami, Florida. It's a pleasure to be here. And um, I am the habit expert, getting agents to do what they should be doing in their business specifically consistently prospecting and then exploring the science of real estate that hits hard with us because we're we add the science into real estate in our fields of prospecting so this is such great synergy right and obviously with red x what a great partnership we have with them because they make from a habit perspective which we'll get into they make things so easy to do and when things are easy habits are easier to form so the science actually starts to enhance itself so We'll get into that. So I'm so super glad to be here today. So you're giving me like, I, I'm getting goosebumps right now. We're talking about prospecting and habits and statistics. I'm that kind of girl too. Yep. So tell me, um, we chatted a little bit on Instagram about failure rates and things like that. Why do you think most agents fail now in real estate? Um, I just think so. My background was Tony Robbins, Zig Ziglar, mm-hmm. Robert Kiyosaki. You know, I'm a platform motivational speaker. And that's, that's my background in DNA, right? God, God gave me such an ability to communicate in this energy that I have. And I came from that background. Then I realized when I got into real estate in 2007, there was a big difference between what was being taught to high performers, right? To the Tony Robbins of the world and all these different seminars, right? And to what's being taught in real estate. Um, and one of the biggest things I tell everyone is in real estate, there's coaching programs, there's strategy out there, right? It's amazing strategy programs out there. Um, there's also productivity programs out there. So it's not a productivity problem. It's not a coaching problem. It's not a strategy problem. And having resources, what no one teaches out there in real estate when I first got in, in 2007, and still no one focuses on this, is habits, behavioral science, right? Mm-hmm. Why your brain does what it does. Why does an agent say, yes, I know I should prospect more, but they don't. Oh, yes, I know I should connect more and follow up more, but they don't. Why do we procrastinate? Why does the brain do this? And that's the missing piece in all this, right? We don't talk about habits. We don't talk about um, behavioral science, right? And so that's when my business partner and I, Mike, Michael Manrique, who I've known since high school, we got into the business together because we realized, holy cow, there's all these studies on habits and to why we do things, but how come realtors don't talk about it? How come brokers don't talk about it? How come coaches don't talk about it right right so, the only thing that we it. talk about um to interrupt i guess briefly no because i forget um the only thing we talk about from my side and i'm much newer than you i started real estate um 2015 okay so what i was being told was meet more people shake more hands shake more hands shake more hands shake right. more hands so my focus shake more hands meet more people call 100 people a day call this do this do this right. why I didn't know. I just know, knew that I needed to meet more people. <laughs> so I, I'm curious to see um, your thought process on that and how you were able to translate from being the motiva- motivational speaker and take those habits and move those into real estate. 
Well, there's going to be people like you. So um, Brittany, there's going to be people like you that take advice and do it right. And mm -hmm. actually just go ahead and get it done, you know, and just mm -hmm. make those connections and then stick with it. And over time you'll get it done. Right. But 87% of those real estate agents won't, you know, right. Um, I don't know your exact background, Brittany, but the majority of realtors come from an employee background, right? They had a job, right? They had employee habits, employee belief systems. So you can take that advice and run with it. But the majority of, of folks, they get a job. They're told what to do. They're told when to take breaks. They're told they're, they're held accountable by their boss. If they don't show up, they're hold all that. But then when they get into real estate, they have no one telling them what to do whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Zero of that, right? And they have their old belief system, their old habits of an employee. And when I talk about belief system, we can bookmark that as well because we can get to belief systems, which is a big part of what where habits start from, right? Um, and, and no one really addresses that whatsoever, right? So, and that's why agents are failing is because we're trying to make, we're trying to give tools and resources to employees without changing their employee habits first. We're trying to get, right. make them entrepreneurs and expect them to have entrepreneurial habits, but yet we haven't changed their employee habits, you know? And that's why I'm sure Red X, they can run the numbers. They can make life so easy. I'm sure Red X is like, hey guys, we got this system that calls for you. And they pick right, up- we, we can automate oh. all this. You just have to say go. Oh my gosh. All you, they're going to get to a point where it's like, all you got to do is think about it. And then the dialer is going to work and it's going to call right. people for you, right? They're getting it better and better. Their technology drop voicemails with one mm. button. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean crap if you don't use it. It's amazing. And they're probably beating up their heads going, what else can we do to make it sticky? But obviously that's where we partnered up. Cause I'm like, guess what? I'm the guy that makes sure people use your stuff. Whether you're Red That's X, pretty impressive. whether you're a broker that you're spending all of this money on their leads and all this, mm -hmm. I make sure that they actually do it. So they're like LA fitness and orange theory and all that. I make sure they actually go to the gym. Red X is the gym. They got the tools for you. I yes. make sure your ass gets to the damn gym and works out and actually gets it done. That's what so, I was going to say. So, so basically what you're saying is as somebody who lost a hundred pounds, like, like this analogy is perfect. Yes. Right? You yes. I lost 40. You lost a hundred. Oh, nice. Congratulations. You, you lost a hundred, Brittany. I know. We're like, yes, let's go. So, so basically I, I had the weight loss surgery, right? The VSG. Um, uh, people are, that's the easy way out because people okay. will say purchasing leads is the easy way out. Right. Okay. It's a tool. If you don't use your tool properly, you won't win. So what is truly your belief system? What do you believe? For me, I believe that I had a hot body under underneath all that crap that was on top of it. I was going to get to that hot body. That's what I believe. I'm almost there. You know, quarantine set me back a little bit, but it is what it is. <laughs> but um, what do you think? What are you hearing that agents' belief systems are? I can, when I first started in real estate, now use me for an example hit the ground running I'm strong right like I didn't I was too dumb to know that I shouldn't be doing things like you shouldn't be buying leads you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that and then I got smart and my smartness um started delaying me I started thinking every single step of the way and so my belief system was this can't be right like they said that this is wrong or they said that's wrong and then this is not quite right and that's not quite right and so then I got stuck in hell. I was in Dante's Inferno, okay? So how do you keep people out of hell and into production and making money? So what you have to do is, so your belief system um, is pretty much, so, you know, by definition, my, to, my, to the audience, a belief system is what you believe you can or cannot do. That part. So everything Wait, you say do that one life, more time. Let, let's make sure the people in the back heard yes. you. Because that was beautiful. People need to know. Belief system. So there's three levels of change. The outer rim of change is called outcome change. That means all the stuff you want, right? Brittany wanted to lose 100 pounds. Robert, he wants to go ahead and make a million dollars next year, right? Andy, I want to go ahead and have six-pack abs by next week, right? Next that, week? Those are outcome change, right? That's the outcomes. That's the things we want. And then the second level of change is called process change. That's the things we do to get those things we want. So Red X is a process, right? The gym is a process, things you do and use to get the outcomes you want. But then in the middle of all that, that does, that regulates, that, that, that controls all of this is called identity. 
identity changes your belief system, what you believe you can or cannot do. So that is where when you say, well, I'm an introvert, um, I'm an extrovert, I'm not a morning person, I hate the morning. When you start thinking these things, that little voice in your head, that's called your belief level, okay? That's called what you think you can or cannot do in life. And that starts as a kid. It can be happening as a kid. So to answer your question, Brittany, when you're dealing with agents, some of my agents in my program, they change your identity in two weeks. Mm -hmm. Boom. Their belief level changes. They see that we're winning. They're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Great. Some agents take two years. Why? Because prospecting to somebody may have a bigger impact in their identity, meaning this. What if someone got sexually molested or beat up as a kid every time they asked a question as a kid growing up? Can you imagine how fearful it is to actually get rejected or ask a question or shake hands with somebody, right? Like if you tell me or you to shake hands with me, Brittany, I can just tell off her personalities. You and I are high-fiving, hugging. We're people. hugging. Yeah. We're like, we're like, hugging. There is no shake. We're like, like let's go. Yeah, we're like, let's go. Right, Before let's go. Before coronavirus, I hugged. Right? But there's some people out there that are listening to this going, shaking hands with people I don't know. And their identity from inside that was created years ago as a child, and maybe they were abused verbally in some way and whatever it was. And then, so it's a trauma that they have their entire life that was sheltered in their job. But then once they became a realtor, that fear of rejection, that fear of people, that fear of not being good enough, right? is going to get exposed because now they have to go ahead and put themselves out there and talk to people that they don't know, right? Warm leads, cold leads, doesn't matter, right? Zillow said right. over 70% of their leads that are purchased are not even called back. So think about it. Those are warm leads that are given to them that are, that are not, not given, that are purchased by the agent. Right. And yet the agent doesn't call them back. It's not because you're lazy. It's not because you're not motivated. It's not because they don't want to call them back. It's because there's an identity in them that's saying to them, if I get rejected by this person or if I run the risk of talking to this person, it can mean X, Y, Z. You fill in the blank. And some of you listeners are like, you may not even know what your blank is, but until you start going through the process of habits and making things, you know, there's, there's a whole process of habits that we go through, which we can get into as well. But that's where, I, so when people ask me, oh, Andy, does it take 30 days to change a habit? No. Because that on average, it takes about 60 some odd days, you know, 67 to be exact. So, you know, it's not just 30 because there's some traumas that take a year or two to change. OK, now, if you tell me to cut soda, I can probably cut that in 30 days. Not a problem. Right. Now, if you tell me to create the new habit of going up to strangers, that might take somebody a year to do. Does that make sense? So yeah, I mean, you're right now how you know I, I definitely believe in the universe and secret and all that good stuff because you yep. and I like immediately like we believe the same things so I'll tell you some of my biggest obstacles as a team lead and as a real estate agent in person in general is fear and for me I'm able to say which fear is bigger is it the fear of getting on the phone and getting all this rejection or is it the fear of letting people down right mm -hmm. so I have to fight that. And I wonder um, what you tell the audience about their fear. How do you overcome? Oh my God, I'm so scared. You know, when I was little, my mom said, I, I, my mom said that I didn't make this A or I was raising my hand in the back of the classroom and everyone laughed because I have this country yeah. accent. So I was yeah. super scared. I'm super scared to get on the phone. That's me, by yeah. the way. I, like, my yeah. accent is insanity, yeah. right? That's real. <laughs> so, That's but real. super scared yeah. to get on the phone. So how do you take that? and change that into, hey, you know what? I'm gonna use Red X and I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna kick ass with this. You know, I'm gonna be the best. How do you, how do you get away from that and get all the way into your inner circle? So, great question, by the way, Brittany. Way to tee that one off, That's, which is perfect, which segues into habits. How do you change your identity? It's by changing your habits. Habits changes your identity. So that's a big headline when we're recording this. Habits change your identity. Habits change your belief system. Meaning this, the reasons why you eat the way you do, the way you talk, the way you do, the way you dress, the way you do is because you have evidence of it and you've done it your entire life, right? And you've done it for the majority of your life, right? So how do you change your identity? So if you have someone that's saying, Andy, I'm scared to call, like you just said, right? Brittany, how do you change that? Well, first you have to make things simple for the agent. 
They need easy wins, right? When someone says, Andy, we're going to make 30 calls together. And we're, and I ask them, well, how many calls did you make before you signed up? They're like, oh no, I wasn't calling. I'll go, we're not going to do that. We're just going to make one call today. That's it. Whether they pick up or not, who cares? It's let's make it easy. And then you call and then you speak to someone or you don't, but at least now, you know, you know what? I made a call today. Two days go by, three days go by. You start making one call a day for a week. Then you make two calls a day and then three calls a day. Okay. So the first 90 days of our program, we're not talking about the numbers they need to hit to make six figures. The first 90 days of my program, people are like, Hey, we're going to build a habit of making right. calls every day. And that starts slowly because you didn't become overweight overnight. Like I tell people, your bad habits didn't right. happen overnight. So why do you expect to change your habits overnight? The good one. That makes zero sense. You're going against science, right? So someone that's like, Andy, I'm scared to make those calls. Well, let's start changing that belief level. And then your brain goes, you know what? We called somebody and I didn't get, you know, it was okay. It wasn't horrible. It was weird. It was awkward. Right, and I didn't, uh, <laughs> you know, I just, yeah. I just made a phone call and guess I what? I made a phone call and that was good. It's okay. Every Wednesday I yeah. make live calls. So, you know, every, every Wednesday I make live calls for free. I can share the links with you guys, right? In English yes, and please. Spanish. So, you know, every Wednesdays, everyone hears me prospect live. I use Red X, of course. And people get me, hear me. They love it because they hear me get killed on the phone. I got threatened, by the way, a month ago. To get, I got beat up to get beat up by a billy stick. I had no idea what a billy stick was. The guy was very that's upset. The, with me. Yeah, the the cop stick thing. Yeah, yeah right. That's, that's what that's what one of my what one of my teammates told me. He goes, Andy, it's I think it's those cops. You know, those cops like, like from the cartoons. Yes. Oh, those black ones I ate that a lot. And the guy threatened to kill me. He goes, oh, wow. right, but. If you're going to assume the worst case scenario on a phone call, I guess that might be it to be threatened that, for your life. No, well, right? probably, Maybe. except I carry, like, my, my rebuttal to that is super fun. It's like, they didn't just make one stick. Careful. <laughs> I am tough. So. But they get to see me get killed, right? do this, and I'm still alive. And it's you okay. It. And, and you're happy. Going. And it's just one person out of the hundreds of thousands that we need to serve. And so that belief level of them seeing me even go through it changes their belief level because they have evidence of it. Like, oh man, I can do this. Look, Andy can do it. I can do Andy. Cause everyone's like, oh, Andy's the master prospector. No, I'm not. I'm just someone that I have the it identity of someone that, mm -hmm. like you said, whether I get, by the way, being scared and nervous while prospecting is normal. Can we put that as a headliner, right? Yeah. Put that as a headliner. Being scared and nervous while you're making your calls is always going to be there. Nervous and nerve wracking. You got to go diarrhea, whatever it is that happens to you before. It's that like normal. That. As soon as I get on, I go, I, 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 <clears throat> it's a small stutter. Like, it, but if, if you're paying attention to it, like I just did it there. So if you're paying attention to it, you'll catch it. And for me, I'm like, huh, whatever. I'm a real whatever. person. Yep. Bet you can tell I'm not automated, huh? <laughs> so. I love it. But you have an identity of it's okay yeah. and I'm going to do it whether I feel like it or not. I'm still going to connect with that person, right? Because it's, it's part of you. It's your identity. But try explaining that. That's why I, I, I cannot stand the industry when people start saying, just make your calls. Just pick up the phone and dial. Really, bro? That's the advice we're going to give people? Like, it's like saying, go to the gym and work out and eat right. Nah, she, of course I know that. Okay. That's why we teach habits because habits is what gets you to take the action because that's why you come home late and you're tired and you're sleepy. But guess what? You still brush your teeth. Isn't that something? You're like exhausted. You're like, oh, I hate, I don't feel like brushing my teeth. But you're like, you know what? I still got to brush my teeth. Right. It, Cause it's a habit. It's right. something you don't, don't even think about doing and you do it. And that's what my program does with habit guys. We make sure we build that routine, the habits. So you just pick up the phone, you open up Red X, you have a system in place and you just press dial, you're making calls and you don't even feel like it, but you so do Andy, it. That's habits. Let me, let's go back a little bit. What's the name of your program? We just kind of skipped over. Yeah. Well, Habit, Habit, Habit University is our program. We got two of them, Habit University and Habit University Plus. We have a coaching program that's one-on-one. -on -one. And then we have Habit University as well. 
that's more of the intro, right? To get you started, right? And then those that want to start now, after the habits are formed, it's like, all right, let's start making some money. Let's start right. saying, all right, how many calls do I have to make? What am I saying on the phone? How do I become a better sales, you know, uh, conveyor right. messaging? And all. Okay, great. That's where, that's where Habit University Plus comes in. Um, but Habby University is our program, right? Where we teach the habits of prospecting consistently. Andy, I've got football games. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've got a question about all these habits. I, I love yeah. what you're saying because it can be applied in so yeah. many aspects of life, yeah. right? Like, yeah, we're talking real estate today. We're talking building our business and, uh, and it's, and it's going to work there, but it works everywhere. Uh, one of the questions I have, especially right now is we've got new agents, right? And if you're new in the last two years, the market is nuts, right? And, uh, and in fact, you can, you can literally sell your grandma's house like three times right now and get the, and maybe you're hitting the goals that you want. Yeah. So you talked about how ha habits help us overcome like the difficult situations. How do habits help us in prosperity? Or when you say, you know hey. what, I feel like I've got the hang of this. Do I really need to make my phone calls every day? Or like what, how do habits help us when things are going well too? Robert, I love it. Because what starts <laughs> to happen is when you start making money, you start losing weight. Guess what starts to happen? Start getting like, lazy. Let me eat that Twinkie. What's the big deal? I deserve it. And that's why, you know what? Let me take the week off. Oh my gosh, do not do that to me. I love my, love my food. Well, I guess we all can say we love our food, right? <laughs> um, but what, so it's beautiful is that the, the fear of success is there as well when it comes to habits. If you don't have habits in place, that's why people, the boot camps don't work. That's why when people say, I'm going to make 100 calls a day for 90 days and I'm going to crush it. Okay, you might do that. But then once you get those deals, like Robert just said, guess what's going to happen? You're going to take your foot off the gas because you don't have the habit. Your identity so still hasn't changed. You, your, 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 your identity still hasn't changed. You're still that old person that's fearful, but your motivation, maybe you have a coach beating you up and doing it and then you're held accountable. Great. But if you haven't had that, 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 that identity shifted inside where you're like, you know what? I can prospect no matter what. And until you don't change that identity, it doesn't matter how much money you're making because then you'll fall right back. That's why agents have a good quarter and then drop again. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure right, I can show you those numbers where people make their money making those calls. And then why are they falling off if they're getting more listings and then they stop doing what actually got them there the listings in the first place. Yeah. So I call it financial thermometer where mm -hmm. people think that their financial thermometer is one place and it's really not. So you think you want to make, let's use the infamous hundred thousand dollars, right? You think you want to make a hundred thousand, but when you start closing deals, you've made 5,000 for the month. Then yep. you stop working because your financial thermometer was probably, you need to make about 60 to 75,000 not this hundred number. So that's why you're going up and down, up and down like that. I love this identity. I mean, this is like everything for me. Like y'all, if y'all are on everything. here right now, this is sick. Like I've been in real estate a long time. I know a lot of different coaches and a lot of different people. I've never heard this presented this way. I'm impressed. And it's very difficult to impress Brittany Howard. <laughs> so, there you go. I'm hard. I'm the hard ass. So I love it. I, I'm super impressed right now by you. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. And I, and Tell I think me, um, I'm curious because I'm not a Red X um, user. I actually don't. Uh, this is going to be horrible, right? I don't prospect for expireds. I sit there and, and and my habit or identity is I put it in the universe and say I need three listings universe and it provides. I probably should say more than that. My habit is <laughs> as well. But I'm, I'm curious as someone who's never prospected on the expired side, can you give me a, okay, this is how you're going to start. This is your goals. This is how you should end this. From a conversation perspective, are you saying? Uh, yeah, give me like your best 30 seconds of it, I suppose. Or, or what should I expect? How do I go from Red X to and build that identity properly and then go from there? Well, the first thing about- And I've heard great the, things about Red X, by the way. So I'm well, excited. Yeah, it's amazing. But the first yeah. thing I tell students is, um, is everything you do before Red X is going to be the most critical part. Because once you're in Red X, the system just- it's so it's so easy to use and automatic that it's phenomenal. The problem is agents don't have the environment in their house to use Red X because they have so many distractions pulling their attention over. They don't have the right morning routine or afternoon routine, depending if they're a part-time agent or not. So when they get home, they're just responding to an old environment in their house, right? What they've been doing forever. 
and Red X just sits in their laptop, right? And they don't use it, right? That's why their gym equipment just sits in their backyard and they don't use it. That's why prepackaged meals can sit inside someone's fridge and they don't use it and don't eat it. And they'll rather Uber eats junk food over to their house because they haven't changed the systems around all that. So the first thing I would tell students, you know, the first thing we do when we onboard students is we change their morning routines or their afternoon routines. What are they doing from waking up to prospecting if they're a full-time agent? Now, if they're a part-time agent, we're like, all right, what do you do right when you get home from work? From work, we're getting home from work to prospecting, right? And then we start looking at the activities that they're doing that are distracting them, like watching the news, Instagram, because um, haven't you have, have that happen? You go to your room, you pick up your phone, you're about to make calls, but then you pick up your phone and then all of a sudden you're looking at cat memes for 30 minutes and you're like, how did I get here? I was supposed to make calls, right? So we go over that with our students and make sure they, they, they create a new environment, okay? Because listen, if you leave ice cream in my house, guys, I'm going to eat it. It's very simple, okay? I'm not a superhuman and all of us here have our... So we create a system that makes sure that they're actually getting pulled into prospecting, right? Using Red X and getting rid of all their distractions in their house or minimizing it. Okay, we're humans. We're going to get distracted, right? But minimizing the, distra the distractions. And then that's where we start, right? And setting that up that way before they even get there to Red X. Because once they're in Red X, what do you think, Robert? Right? I think that that's the big thing there, right? It's even getting it there. It works. It works. Yeah. Yeah. Robert, I, as soon I, as I we love get off the, here, uh, I'm sliding in DMs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. You, and you need to, and you need to talk to yeah. Tristan and you need to make sure that we get you all hooked up because uh, Andy's just right. And I love the gym analogy. We've used it so many times talking to clients as well. Right. And we know if you want to be successful going to the gym, you have to have an alarm set. You have to have the right mindset. You need to set your clothes out the night before. So they're yes. ready to go. So you don't have an excuse. You need, it's great if you have a buddy to go with you that, that you know, oh, man, they're coming to pick me up. I've, I got to go with them, you know. So we know with all these other habits that we need to set ourselves up for success. And uh, like Andy right. said, Red X is the process. Your leads are going to be right there delivered to you. They're going to be your clothes set out in the morning. The dialer is going to deliver them up for you. So you don't have to, you get over the fear of of, of, of pushing that button the first time because it's just going to go for you and uh, you can call us in and you can do a role play system with us to have a buddy to get you started for the day you know we're there we want you to succeed but if you don't get up and go to the gym you're not going to lose weight and so i love everything andy's saying you got to have the right mindset you got to get yourself ready you got to know what you you have to have those tools uh internally and your environment in place uh, but once you turn on Red X, we're there. We'll help you out, and it's going to work because it works for everyone that, that that does it. That puts in that work. Oh, uh, but, but you got to put in the work. And it <laughs> integrates all the expireds integrate right into the dialer, right? So you don't have to do it yourself. The dialer dials the next phone number for you. So that little voice in your head that's telling you you're not good enough, and that last name looks very intimidating. Or I'm calling at 12 o'clock noon right now. They're probably eating lunch and I'm going to bother them. Like all the little voices that stop people from calling people, the dialer says, shut up, I'm working. Yeah. It, it, it's great. It's like, shut up, I'm working, I'm dialing. Oh, hello, hey, how are you? You know how many times I'm going live and I'm talking while the dialer's going? And they just catch me like, oh, hey, how are you? I'm Andy, what's going on? It's like the dialer's working for you, getting rid of those, you know, those, those demon thoughts, right? Those limiting beliefs that we have. And it does it for you, which is a fantastic and, thing. I, I tell and my for students, your whole lead stack, you, for your whole lead stack too. So like, uh, Brittany, you said the expireds, maybe you just want to start and do 15 minutes of expireds and you can put your whole lead stack in there so that it will, the dialer automatically takes you from your expireds to your Fizbos, to your Furbo, to your <laughs> circle prospecting for the day. And then, and then it's just all set up for you. So you don't have to think, oh man, maybe I'm done with expired. No, you still got your, yeah, I know they only had three expired today. Just, I guess I'm done. Yeah. 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 And then it's going to take you over to your circle prospecting of where you've nice. got your next open house or whatever you've loaded in for the day. Right. So it does, but, but your habit has to be there first. Right. So, right. uh, and, and that's why what Andy's preaching, man, I love it. Cause I, I wish he could just be on every customer service phone call or we, you know, you sign up for Red X. Okay. First listen to Andy and then, and, uh, and then get in the dialer to get into. I know Andy, he's talking and I'm like, man, I'm kind of sucking right now. on our prospect. <laughs> Brittany, when's the last time you picked up the phone? Right? What is your identity telling you right now? <laughs> That's why I love like, it. I feel when, triggered right now. 
<laughs> no, but you're human though, Brittany. You know, it, yeah, for sure. It happens. Um, and that's why I loved it when Reddick told me about what they did. I'm like, by the way, guys, you're gonna love us because we're gonna make sure people and agents use what you guys are doing. That's it. That's why brokers love us. Because right. we we brokers are like Andy. I've been telling my agents all the time, but brokers are not professional habit people, they're not professional um developers of human beings. They don't know how humans work, right? So they don't know any better how to get people to take action. So that's why they love us because we just make sure agents are doing and using the resources that that broker has, right? So it just, it just makes sense. And I'm, that's, that's why we got into the business because it was just a perfect fit and our messaging is taking off. And thanks to platforms like this where you guys are getting our name out there because um, I truly believe and I have, um, I'm, I'm actually going to meet with the National Association of Realtors soon to, we need to mandate a program of habits when you get licensed, right? Like a post-licensing because that's going to help the failure rate. That's going to help everyone renew their license because the more agents that make more money, that means more renewals of licenses for more money for NAR. So I want to get it to a point where habits becomes a mandatory class, a mandatory program. Because think about it. Agents left their job to pursue a dream, to provide it for a lifestyle for their family. And 90% of them pretty much go back to a job they can't stand. That is awful. That is absolutely so sad. And so that's why I want to be able to serve these agents that want to come out and be more and do more, but we're not serving them as an industry, not as good as we can and giving them high level, just make those calls, just pick up the phone and call. And just, it's like, yeah, it's easy for you to say that because you already have the identity. Does that make sense? They don't do it on purpose. They just have an identity. Go ask somebody that has abs, ask them, Hey, how did you, how'd you get those abs? They're just going to tell you, you just eat right and work out. You just do it. Oh, great. Thank you. But it, it, we call that guru island. When the guru is already established, they're on an island because they don't know what it took to get there. They may know the high level stuff. Oh, yeah, I bought this. I did that. But they don't give you the little because a lot of it's unconscious habits. Over 40 percent of what you do is subconscious. You're not aware of why you're doing it and how you're doing it. You're just doing it. OK. And they can't explain it to you because they've already gone out of the transition phase. So, and the majority of agents are in that transition phase from employee to, to entrepreneur. And a lot of these gurus are just not in that transition phase anymore. They've already made the jump successfully. And then they look back 15 years later, they're like, you just got to pick up the phone and call and then just shake hands with people and do that for five years and you'll be good. Really, bro? Like, I get it, but we need to be better than that. We got to go deeper than that. We got to talk about the science of why we do what we do. So that's why I love exploring the science of real estate, that that's our wheelhouse. Because if you're not taught, I don't care about your business card. I don't care about your website. I don't care about your knowledge. Guys, I don't care about any of that. I don't care about how much you know about contracts and showing properties. You need to improve your habits of prospecting daily. And that's all you got to do. Because some of the agents listening, guess what? You can be a referral agent. Just use Red X, call, hook people on the phone, get a lead and send it to another agent that shows the property and does the contracting, does all the work, and you take your 25% commission. How about that? You can be an agent like that. You don't have to be a part-time agent showing them with three kids at home and they have another job, you're stressing out. No, just be a referral agent. You only got an hour a day, great. You can make 100 phone calls in that hour using Red X, right? You can knock that out. And in those, in those, in those 100, you get three emails or so. You build me, you make three friends out of those five friends, whatever you're, whatever you're calling, whatever, whatever strategy you're using. And guess what? You multiply those five by five in a day in five in a week, that's 2,500 in a month. That's a thousand new friends a year, right? You set them up with automations and your CRM. Now that's obviously what we teach as well, right? Systems, automations and closing that loop. And that's why we have our program to teach all that. And then that's it. You can make a six figure business doing that, right? Um, and that's why there's, there's no excuse not to do that anymore, right? With systems like this to get it done before. Can you imagine having to dial one by one, right? To get this done. Like it's just like- Fat what? finger dialing. Yes, fat finger dialing, calling. So, you know, it, it's just a beautiful thing what's going on. And I really want to get this messaging out there because I think we need to do this industry a better job than just 90%, you know, only, you know, 10% of agents making it. That's sad. You know, that's, that, that's just very sad. And, but I think we're getting better at it now. We will. I wanted to um, 
to go back and make sure that people picked up a couple of things that you said that I, I'm not even sure you noticed that you said. When you were talking, you said, I'm going to call 100 people um, out of those, out of the five, three to five friends, right? Let's pause there. So what you said, and to make sure everybody understands, you call 100 people, three to 5% conversion rate. That's national standards, right? I want to make sure everybody heard that like properly. We're oh, yeah. three to five friends. Now, usually back when I started, the people on the phone were still called leads, right? Yep. Um, then it switched over and, and slowly they got out of it. Friends, I've never heard that used before. And that makes the most sense because I'm not from Louisiana. I've called people and I always say, you know, they just became my sphere of influence. They became my friends. Right. So this is such a beautiful, beautiful um analogy. I wanted to ask you, so the outcome change, I think is pretty easy for people to get to, right? The process change, not so much. The identity change, not so much. Right. What five things would you tell people to get them from outer circle to move more toward inner circle? First thing is stop focusing on magazines, social media, the new... Like, because we live in a world where everyone just promotes outcome change. And it's natural, right? The Instagram influencer shows you their abs and they're like, man, the app, it's like, it's like, it's so easy to get caught into that and then measuring yourself to that and saying, well, I'm not there. And then that's just awful. So measuring yourself against outcome is the worst thing you could ever do, right? That's the worst thing you could ever do. I would tell people, definitely stop focusing on outcomes. Second thing I'll tell people is stop worrying about the tools and the process, right? Because yes, Red X is amazing. I love them. Are they the only company that you can actually use to prospect? No, there's so many ways you can prospect. You can knock on doors. You can text people a video. You can go ahead and stand outside a grocery store and just run in and talk to people. Go to a mall. I had a, a student of mine who took her dog to an outside mall and would just walk her dog to talk to people and that's how she prospected, right? So don't get so caught up in, oh my gosh, I have to have the perfect dialer, the perfect script, the perfect CRM, the perfect, no. Like I have my, my tools that I use that I became a top producer in, in my first year in real estate as a part-time agent and I got mine and I'll teach you what exactly what I did, but I tell students, guess what? It's not the only tools out there, right? It's not the only tool. So don't get so caught up in that. We got to break it down on, the, on a fundamental level. I'm making that happen. Number three, I will tell people is this. Stop hanging out with the people that are so focused on these things because you will become those people, right? You got to watch out your circle of influence. Brittany, I'm sure you, you know this, right? Be careful who you hang around because you will become those people. Right. I mean, I'm very negative. Lucky. I'm like the last man on the totem pole to not hit that seven figures. So I'll be darned. I think they finally beat it into me. The next 12 to 18 months, I got you. <laughs> got you. That's it. Stop hanging around those people to do so. Correct. Yeah. Stop hanging around the people to do so. Um, so the fourth thing I will tell students is, like I said before, make things simple for yourself. If you want to lose weight, just start off by doing push-ups right before you take a shower. Let's say that. And I say this. It's called habit pairing, so you know. Do two push-ups, 10 push-ups, do air squats, uh, make one phone call right after lunch. Do an activity that you want to change after something you do every day. I repeat, do a new activity that you wanna make a habit, like prospecting or working out. You wanna work out? Do it after something that you do every day. So years ago, I would not floss my teeth every day, guys. Confession. You're going to be real with each other. Let's go ahead, right? I wasn't flossing every day. I wanted to get that habit of flossing every day. So what did I do? I opened up the floss. I made it easy because if you hide the floss in the cupboard, you're not going to remember to do it. I opened up the floss. I broke off, I broke off the floss. I put it next to my toothbrush because I know if once I go to my toothbrush, something I do every day. I see that string and I'm like, oh, that's right. I got to go ahead and brush. I make it easy, grab and go, right? Same thing with push-ups. Years ago, when I was very overweight, I just, I, I would do 20 push-ups right before a shower. The shower water will go on and I will go ahead. I strip down to my boxers, boom. 
knock out 20 push-ups, 25 push-ups, then 30 push-ups, then 100 push-ups. And then slowly, am I, was I getting results? No, I wasn't getting results. But I said, when you're first changing your habits, you can't focus on results. You have to focus on the activities, which is now my fifth, um, the, the fifth advice, the fifth key to this is focus on the activity. When you become obsessed with focusing on the activity, making the call, right? Forget about how many listing appointments you had. And Robert, FYI, I spoke to your team on creating and changing the parameter of don't just put listing, don't put listing appointments. Let's also just add emails, a lower barometer, something easier. Just ask for someone's email. And that should be a win, not listing presentation, not listing appointment only. So I'm going to call out your developers live on the podcast. Woo! Now let's go. Oh, hopefully um, they're listening. Hopefully they're listening. They, they are, yeah, they are. Andy is dropping such fire right <laughs> now. We have a question. I don't know. It, I, I don't want to interrupt number five, but I also want to be respectful of everyone's time. So, ah! go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. so two questions. How do you prep yourself mentally for prospecting? And Shelly also says, I, I feel like I need to research my calls, check the Facebook and Instagram and last text message. So she has conversation triggers. Otherwise, she doesn't quite know where to start. She thinks that that takes too long. So how does she get over this? Oh, my gosh. With that, yeah. all right, so first question is, how do you prep yourself mentally for prospecting? Like you just called out, Brittany is, think about your calling a friend. You're not there to sell them. You're not there to sell them. You are, I tell my students all the time, you are not calling people to sell them, okay? You are there to make a friend and to hopefully they stay in touch with you. And that's what you're gonna ask is their email to stay in touch. That's it. That's the overall objective. Make a friend and can we stay in touch? So if you ever decide to buy or sell one day, I hope you think of me. That's part of the script I teach, okay? You can see how, how friendly that was. That was it. I hope we stay in touch. Like, really? What a cool dude you are, right? All right, great. So change your perspective from having to close people to just, can we stay in touch? I'm a realtor. This is what I do. Can we stay in touch? And then obviously you put them in a system or you shoot out weekly emails and you have your system, whatever you prefer to stay in touch with them every week, right? That's the first question. How do you prep yourself mentally? Friends over transactions in your head. Because if you, if you think of everything like a sale, you're going to feel like an imposter calling them like, oh man, I'm a salesman. I'm going to sound cheesy. I'm going to, that's why these scripts that some, some gurus teach like, Hey, so Robert, how many times have you thought about buying or selling real estate in the past year? Have you seen the market? Like I'm vomiting when I hear that. Cause that is just awful. Now, does it work? Yes. That's why those programs do very well as well. Right. There's more than one right. way to do it. But for me being authentic, and for the majority of the folks listening to the 87% failing that are like, you know what? I wish I would have learned that script because I can say that. That's authentic. I can do that. That's something that I can do. And then over time, I can get more creative and salesy later on, like in my 10th year in the business, right? And convert conversions better. But at the beginning, just be a friend. Just talk. Just converse with them and say, hey, I'm here to help you out, right? So that's the first question. The second one, that's it. I, I love it. Who said that? Shelly, you are yeah, not she's... alone, Shelly, because so many people do this and it's called the perfection. Like they feel like they have to be perfect. They have to know everything. I got to know about your animals, your cats, what color hair you got, every conversation starter, where you came from, what you ate for breakfast. I need to know about every single thing in real estate in case you ask me about refinancing. And I need to know the, about the answer. I need to know about the interest rates in Colombia, just in case you have a friend out there that wants to move to Colombia too. I need to know everything. And then I'll make the call. Nope. That's the person that has to do it all. I, let me get the gym clothes. Let me get my shoes. Let me get the perfect workout. Am I going to do cardio, biceps, triceps? Am I, what am I? Stop. Stop triggering me. Okay. Start Shelly and I are the same. I know, right? But it's normal. First of all, it's absolutely normal, Shelly. What you're doing is absolutely normal. It's your identity is telling you. Let's do all these things. Let's go grab coffee. Let's do some research. Let's go to the bathroom. Let's go look up at the MLS and do other things. And then we'll make those calls, right? To sound perfect. But that's why I said, you're just calling to make a friend. You don't do that when you call a friend, Shelly. You don't call your friend to sit and think, all right, let me see what she's wearing right now so I can talk. No, no. you just call her and go, hey, what's up, girl? What you doing? Everything good? My gosh, what's up? 
What are you doing tonight? I don't know what I'm doing tonight. Why'd you call me? I don't know. I don't even know why I called you, but I called you, right? Like you don't have to have a plan when you call your friends. So number one, the answer feeds into number two. When you have a mentality of making friends and you call people and you mess up, even on the phone call and you mess up, it's okay because people can hear the authenticity of you, of you calling to say, hey, I'm in real estate. I hope you think of me. Can we stay in touch? Is there anything you need help with, right? If you can hit those fundamentals, right? Because I have scripts. And by the way, if you guys would like the scripts that I give to, uh, my students, I'll share with you guys the link, okay? It, they're in English and Spanish. And I have morning routines, afternoon routines in English and Spanish. If your audience would like that, I will share the link with you all. Go right ahead. Those are some If they wouldn't, things. go ahead and drop that in my DMs because I would. <laughs> so they, oh, I'm going to do that right now. Over yep. there in whatever level of Dante's Inferno they're in, because yep. I've been there and you've already dropped it for them. Look at you. So I have, um, there are a couple all, of all of it's just there did. in our podcast, all the freebie stuff. Yes, I have a coaching program. I sell it. Yes. And it's expensive. And guess what? Who cares? Because you guess what? It works, right? But like I said, I got so many other freebies to make it happen, right? And give you all the, all the stuff and the information that we have. And it's going to change your life. So th there was one other thing that I, 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 I can't tell if you know that you've done things or if you're just you and, and just super authentic, which is what I think you are. Um, so a lot of agents don't call leads, right? And you're like, you know, it's not a lead, it's a friend, right? Correct. And when you just said that, like, I'm like, dude, do you know how many people I've coached? And if I'd have just said it that way, then I would have been able to change lives. Like for me, that's actually life changing. Like you just elevated somebody's income with that really, really simple thought process. Like, right. don't be afraid to call them. You don't have to know everything about them. Right. You don't have to do any of this stuff. The only thing you have to do is pick up the phone and call your friend. It's raining outside. I mean, we're, we're, right. you're Florida. I'm Louisiana. We keep having these hurricanes. <laughs> <laughs> so you might want to call your friends in your database. And Brit check on. guess what? And Brittany, you talk about, I liked how you said at the beginning, you said, the fear mm -hmm. drives you, right? The fear mm -hmm. of doing and not doing drives you, right? I heard that. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Here's another thing that I'll share with everyone here today. This is gold right here. Listen to this. If you don't call your friend, if you don't go and call that prospect, if you don't call that FISBO, that expired, that geo lead, here's the way I get obsessed about this is this. The majority of agents don't do a good job. They don't return phone calls. They're not authentic. They're not honest. They're not hardworking. A lot of them are not because I, I have to work with them when I'm doing my listings. I'm like, how are you an agent? How are you serving people? You, it, it's, it's insane. So I tell students this, you run the risk of when you call or when you don't call your friend and tell them you're in real estate, you run the risk or that, or that cold call, you run the risk of that person getting with a realtor that doesn't care like you do. It's not as honest as you are. That is not as hardworking as you and will do the right thing as you would. And they will go with another realtor that will not do a good job with them, possibly lose their deposit, give them a horrible experience, give them a property they don't even really care about, that just cares about some transactions. So I look at it that way, that I am going out there to meet people to save them from a horrible experience of being with a whatever realtor. Because I so know, I mean, I know everything, but I'm going to do the right thing and say, you know what? I don't know. And I'll find out for you. You have any ideas how much time we lost money, but we still helped out a rental? How much time we lost money on a rate because our lender messed up, but we still took the commission loss because we wanted to help out our, our, our clients? Thousands and thousands of dollars because we don't care because we'll do the right thing, even if we don't make any money. And then, so I become, you got to look at yourself in the mirror and go, are you an honest person? Are you a good person? Those are questions you have to ask yourself as a realtor. So once you answer yes to that, then that's it. Everyone in your life becomes a potential friend, client that you should tell them you're in real estate because you truly have a love, a, a love and a lot to offer them. And you are doing them a disservice by not calling them, by not prospecting to them, by not connecting with them. So it's so funny. Um, when I first started in real estate and started the conversions and things like that, that belief is what I truly did because my, when I bought my first house, probably the most awful, singularly the most awful experience I've ever had in my life. Really? And I promised myself, yeah, it was, it was bad, bad. <laughs> and I promised myself that I wouldn't allow other people 
to experience that. It, it just wasn't fair because I knew better than that. So I had to make the calls because, you know, what happens if I'm in the grocery store and I'm bumping into this person and they're talking about it. And then I look in there in my database, I suck. Do you see what I mean? Man. Oh yeah. So it, it was that sense of responsibility that I think honestly, every agent has, we all want to make sure that we take care of people. I've never met one. That's just a complete, I just want to make all this money and I don't want to help anybody that doesn't exist in real estate, right. not in the 10% that are left for sure. <laughs> so, you're right. No, you're right. So I, I just, Oh my gosh. Like I, I have goosebumps. I just want to shut up and listen to you talk, Robert. I'll let you ask questions. Cause I have like, five yeah, sorry, Robert. sorry, Robert. We this took over, insane. man. No, that, that, that's what I want to do is like, that's my favorite thing is uh, you hear at Red X, just like what we want to do is provide the tools to make it easy for you and, uh, and, and to make it use your habits to be successful, to have the right leads at the right times and, uh, and make your business work. When we come on here with lab coats, we want to bring the best guys from the industry, just like Andy, and say, hey, let's share the best uh, pieces of advice, the best habits, the best routines. Uh, and, and so I've been learning today. I've loved everything that we've had to say. I have a million more questions. I know we're running out of time. I just want to, I just want to plug that. I love having Andy here because that, that helps me not just in the real estate world, not just here at Red X, but it, it, that what you shared today are habits that help in all aspects of life. So thank you for, uh, for sharing that with us today and, and doing so as a friend. Here you are. You, you could tell us all to go sign up for your coaching, which you should do that too. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but you're sharing all this with us as a friend for free on the Lab Coats uh, webinar. Uh, man, what a treat to be here. Thanks so much. Awesome. No, thank so you. Andy, so much. I appreciate that, Robert. Before we get off, like how would somebody get in touch with you? We have your website and things like that. I slid into your DMs. DM me up. <laughs> DM me I know, up. I just slid in there. You were under the request section. I'm like, ooh, the creepy bucket. Who is this <laughs> person? <laughs> right? I know, right? Yes. It's like, but wow. um, so how will we follow you on social media? How, how do they find you if they want to just learn more or see you live and see you talk and just feel some of that energy if they're feeling nervous before calling their friends? Love it. Habit guys, for sure. So it's one word, right? Habit guys. If you look that up on Instagram, Facebook, um, habitguys.com, right? All, all the above, habitguys.com. And you can actually go there in English and Spanish. You'll see the site break off into both languages. You just got to choose what language. Um, but a big high five is definitely go on, check, listen to our podcast, right? Talk to your broker about me. I give free trainings, by the way, to brokers and associations. So if you're here, remember, I speak for the Miami Association of Realtors, the Women's Council, NARREP. Get me out there. If you're part of an association, I'll speak for your, um, your, your brokerage and all that for free because my big thing is getting this message out there, right? I want to single-handedly just help out that failure rate and drop that down so agents can truly live life on their terms but if 90 percent of them are failing it's not happening so that's a big high five you guys can give us um like i said use those scripts that i just gave you all there's a link i'm sure they'll drop that in there as well where you can get your free scripts in english and spanish the ones that i use to call my friends and family and all that and also um for geo leads i put that in there and i'm also always uploading that because i'm going to start calling expireds in around q1 i'm going to start calling expires myself um but uh, but you also can't spread yourself out too much. So I want to make sure I focus on the geo leads right now. Right. And then um, I'll, I'll add those scripts into that site that you guys will click on that I just shared with you all below. You guys will be, um, we'll upload those in those. So check out those um, free tools and resources that we have here and afternoon routines and morning routines. If you need a better one, it's in that same website. It's habitguys.com forward slash extras. That's the, that's the link so, to download all that. Where's the next place you're speaking? Um, Beverly Hills, actually in Beverly Hills, California, Ooh, just, Justin Bieber's house, actually. Mm, mm. That is sexy. I had yeah, no Justin idea Bieber's house. We're going to be well, speaking I there. Guess the public yeah. can't go to Bieber's house. So where's the next? No, this is a, it's a Bieber's private. Show. Yeah, it's a private. It's a private event for about 300 I mean, luxury agents. Yeah. But I, I personally would like to come to Bieber's house. So if you need a plus one. Let's go. Let's do I'll take plus two, plus three. Let's go. Robert, let's go, Robert. I'm in. Richard, Robert, Lord help me. I'm making up people's <laughs> names because he said Justin Bieber. And I was like, look, he's number one on the billboard. Did you yeah. see? Well, he won't be there. He won't be there. But it's going to be I at his house. Come. Yeah, it'll be at his house. Oh, my Does God. I would love to see this. At his house? 
Yeah. yeah. Or mansion. Well, I'm sure it's a huge mansion. It's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> so when's the next place you're speaking to the public? Well, after that, the public one, um, I don't have a confirmed date yet. I know I'm speaking with the um, national, you know, like I told you with NAR, their, their event next year, they're, they're pinning me up for that. And then, but I don't have any live dates, anything right now. So, uh, but definitely every Wednesday, I do free trainings at 5 p.m. Eastern and at 5.30 in Spanish Eastern. And I'm on Red X. I'm cold calling. You guys hear me call friends, family, cold calls, geo leads. You guys hear me on there. I go over routines and it's, it's a quick 30 minutes, guys. It's every Wednesday at five o'clock. Um, definitely, I'll drop that link as well below if people want to go ahead and um, get registered for that. It's free every single week guys so if you guys want to hear me prospect and how i take rejections and all that and then when i learn something new i update it on the scripts right so because we're learning together we're seeing because so you know so it's a living script that's impressive. It's a living script you'll see it when you download it it's a microsoft word document it's not pretty it just has my habit guys banner and i wrote notes on there and it's highlighted because it's a working document because um what what doesn't work in miami is hey how are you How's the weather doing today? Guess what? That doesn't work in Miami because you get hung up on, by the way. Right. In Miami, we're like, hey, apurate, get the pasta, let's go. What do you got? Like, so it works. Super in fast, markets. Yeah. yeah. So that's why it's like you got to adjust to your market, right? And we, and as we go, we always kind of move around. But the fundamentals of the script never change. The ask, the how do you take a no and a yes when someone says, I already have a realtor. Well, that response is in the script. Go get it. It's gold, guys. You can never, you have to, you have to memorize that. That stuff you always have to memorize. You always have to have a script on that. Okay. Um, but the other parts around it, we're always kind of, you know, getting better at it um, and improving that every week. Well, I think you have literally taken this little girl from Louisiana and just blew her mind. Like, I, I, I don't go. know what I expected on our call, but it wasn't four, five, six pages of notes. Holy moly, y'all, I'm gonna have to go back over this and just, this is insanity. I, I pray that those that are listening and those that hear the recording afterwards understand the absolute nuggets you're dropping. You drop so many nuggets, like like the golden eggs, you know what I mean? Like if you're a video yeah. gamer, the eggs, yes. you've dropped so many of them that I'm having to go back through my notes to find them all. This is insanity. Oh. It is an honor, a pleasure. Um, I'm going to talk to some of the people I know to see if I can't get you live in some of the places I'm going. Yes, please so do. That, get oh me my in gosh. front of people. Get me in front of people. That's my ass. Guys, like, I'm, see I how I'm prospecting? To... You see how I'm prospecting now live? Guys, right? get me in front of people. Get me in front of agents. Get me in front of I brokers. I am pretty sure I'm going to kidnap you, and you're going to be like my pocket man. Like, I'll put you in Let's my go. pocket. Let's go. And I'll be your you. plus one, Brittany. I'll be your <laughs> plus one. Let's go. Well, you you take me to Bieber first, and then right. I'll put you in my pocket, and we'll go other places, and we'll just conquer the world, and it. we'll drag Robert along with us. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. Let's and go, Robert. Like, oh my God, I gotta control those two. <laughs> well, he needs to. He needs to. He needs to be the one that holds us back. Like, all right, guys, calm down. Like, hey, remember like, where we got? Like, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's yeah. my job. <laughs> I, I got this. Red X, we got this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I um, love it. Let me check and see if y'all have any other questions. I have, it, it's been so long since I've been this impressed by somebody, like a very, very long time. I'm Thank not so sure, much. like, I, the universe puts you in my life because you believe so many of the, uh, the same things I do, and Robert as well. Like, I'm so excited. And, and when I tell y'all, when we hop off of here, I'm sliding in DMs, like, y'all be prepared. Do like, it. I'm not joking. <laughs> so there do you it. go completely Good. impressed um everyone make sure you follow the habit guys uh, the links have been dropped in several times um if you can't find them y'all can slide in my dms um, and i'm happy to uh, do the links and make the intros for y'all evidently andy is super free right now and he can maybe do some live events so he's not kidding there's no bs with that if y'all need him and y'all want him around how at him? I mean, we're all yeah, here. Let now. me know. I'll do events. I'll do events for your brokerage. I just need about 15 agents minimal in that in that Zoom, in that event live to do it, especially if I'm here in my locally in Miami, right? Um, but virtually for sure. But it's just getting it out there. I want everyone to get out there because the more people, even if you don't do my coaching program and all that, that's a bonus. Great. If you do it, do it great. But it's just more of knowing that habits are so critical. And once you understand that it's not about your willpower or motivation. It's about your habits. That shift in mindset 
about focusing not on outcomes, but focusing on actions. Once you start actually learning those steps, because I made a vow, Brittany, when you say that I gave you so many nuggets and all that, that's the biggest high five you can give us. Because one of the biggest things I said when I, when I started this company with my, my, my partner, Mike, was I don't want to be a high level speaker that talks in high levels. And then people are like, what are you talking about? Like, that sounds right. great. It's raw, raw, raw. But then people go back home and do the same thing they were doing for the past 10 years. The right? barrier of so I want to give high. actionable steps. Mm -hmm. I want people to go actionable steps to truly change your life, to use Red X. And Red X is, you know, so they can get the usage they got to right. get because they have all these great tools and resources. And then they're probably beating up their mind going, what the heck? Why, why are people why not isn't it working for this? Right? right? It's like, what's going on? It has nothing to do with the tools and resources and more to do with the habits that agents have and the identity they have to actually use these amazing tools and resources like Red X. All right, sweetheart, give me your information one more time. It looks like a brokerage wants you in. <laughs> See? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, have it or I can drop my cell phone number too, guys. If that's fine. Like, like, like drop your stuff in here because I have a new iPad. I don't know how to quite type <laughs> box on this oh. iPad. To those people that told me Surface Pro versus iPad, I did what y'all said. And I got the iPad. Now I can't figure out how to use this thing. So, there, you go. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. No, no worries. There's my cell phone. People We're can call, call me. Call I respond to every text, every email, every DM. Um, I'll oh, respond Lord. in English and Spanish. Even if you have agents in other countries as well and they need help in Mexico, Spain, Italy, everywhere. Guys, I, I, I coach all over the all over the world um, as to what my team does. It doesn't matter. Right? It's, it's Habits is a universal thing. So and I'm, I'm making some calls when we get out of here. Super impressed. I know that we are above our um about above our, our time. I personally can let you go forever, but now that you've decided to give 140,000 people your phone number, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna text That's you. It. So there I'm, you go. I'm dropping all Thank of it. My cell so phone, much. my Instagrams, all that, all of that is oh there. my gosh. Thank you so much, Robert, for bringing him. Like, I'm so excited to connect <laughs> with you and be able to finally get over my bad habit of not falling for yep. listings instead of just putting it in the universe and letting the universe pro to provide. I actually maybe prospect for that. Imagine that. Well, but what a beautiful thing, Brittany, when you can use universe, your creator, and whatever people right. believe in, right? Use your God-given talents and all that and use that with action as well like how beautiful that what a, what a beautiful way to honor your universe your god and and actually do what you were created to do and excel how beautiful what a mix and, that and is, make right? new friends doing it make new friends because remember if you want to get technical god uses us to connect with others and spread the word right and that's the thing and that's that's the biggest thing ever i don't want to go into a whole religious aspect but whatever you believe in it's all about doing doing good unto others and all isn't that great right. And why would you deprive your creator? Why would you deprive God of connecting with others, right? And helping them achieve something. So it's a, it's a beautiful thing all across the world. I mean, why wouldn't you save your friends from a bad experience in real estate? Amen. Amen. There we go. On that note, I think we're going to finally end. Robert, do you have anything that you like to say from Let's Red Let's go, Robert. I what do you got? <laughs> Let's go. No, Andy's right on. Uh, get your habits in order and, uh, and then come to Red X. We've got uh, we've got the leads and the tools that you need to succeed uh, when you uh, come in with the right mindset and have the right habits ready to go. Uh, we we want your success. Uh, the link's been dropped from Lab Coats. Uh, Andy, uh, you can talk to him. We we have him on our podcast, and yep. uh, we're gonna have him on more podcasts. And uh, we're just excited to be here. Thanks so much for having us. I start a podcast so I can have you on mine. <laughs> yep. If you guys want to start a new series, and I would love to, um, Robert as well with Red X. I would love to have you guys as well on our podcast. Same thing with you, Brittany. We'd love to have you guys on our podcast as well to We're share in. your story and all that. We can definitely intertwine all this. I will, yeah, this, this was amazing. I want to thank you guys so much from LCA. Thank you. Y'all freaking rocked it. Um, I did not curse very much in this, so I did good. I'm not going to get smacked on the hand when I leave. I did a little <laughs> bit. Sorry about that, guys. I'm still oh, in no, training. No, 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 I'm no, trying no. to get better, right? I'm you trying to get better. You have no idea who you're with. So I'm like a gangster rapper, okay? In real life. <laughs> but thank you so much for this. Y'all are amazing. You made me look really, really, really good. Um, tons of hearts right now. Y'all hop on Red X. I saw that they have like a sign-up bonus for everybody in LCA. Holy crap, y'all. Woo! And there's nothing better out fire, there. I got my the, price, 
the price per lead you're spending with Red X is ridiculous. It's cents on the dollar. So there's nothing better out there when it comes to cost. So it's not the five or six hundred that I'm spending for portal leads. Oh my gosh. And the 700 <laughs> bucks a month we were spending for realtor.com and not getting anything. Like, are you kidding me? Guys, Say trust those me. those names of those people. Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. But sorry I that. feel you. But you know what I mean? <laughs> Look, guys. Yes, I do. We, we, we stand in solidarity. I'm going to drive to you. Um, we have to go. They're they're kicking us off of here. Let's go. Let's get out. Andy we're and out. I are just like, we're just vibing. Thank y'all so right. much. Slide in our DMs. Text this man. Sign up for Reddick. We are out of here. <laughs> Bye.